Yeah, I was, uh, man, I was gonna record this live, but I said, no, I ain't gonna do it. Um, I had a good, I had a brother just inboxed me not that long ago. And he was, uh, you know, I ain't gonna get into too much of his personal business, but he, you know, he's struggling through, struggling with something. And, you know, I told him that, you know, I've been through that same thing. I've been there. I know how it feels to feel like that you're struggling, although that you're trying and the enemy be right there on your on your neck, crying, trying to figure out a way to make you fall and stumble. But then you have to go back and you have to, you know, you get in prayer and you fast and you ask the Lord to do some things. And you, but you got to stay firm on it. You got to know who you are. And that's why I always tell people, man, you got to know who you are in Christ. You know, we all on different parts of branches, but we all part of the same tree. So once you realize who you are, you can be more effective in the things that you struggle with. That you think that is hard, it's not all that that hard, it's actually pretty easy. So I wanna come out of uh first Peter, first Peter chapter one chapter two, and I'm starting at verse nine and I stop right there at eleven. It says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should so forth in praise of him who has called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. So the Father is taking you out of the darkness is sin and it could be you know malice backbiting uh, unbelief uh, doubt fear uh, un, un, uh, unrighteousness unforgiving things like that pulling you out of the darkness and bring you into his marvelous light and then he says which in thy past were not a people but are now the people of God see at the beginning in the past you know you were struggling through some things and Maybe you could have been serving the world and trying to serve two, ma two masters. And the father says that you can't serve man and manner. You either serve one or despise the other. You can't do both. So you could have been in the darkness. But the father's now, you know, he's still pulling people out of the darkness to bring them into his marvelous light. Chosen people, a chosen generation he calls you. He says a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. Meaning you're set apart. You're different. You're not like the rest. You, you know, you, you. May, you know, it's not about your outer appearance. The Father is looking at the inner man. He's looking at the heart. So, you know, you can be looking normal like you always have, you know, looking your part, doing your thing, but in all reality, you're, you're a chosen person. You're a chosen people. You are a peculiar. You're different. You don't look the same. You know, I had it happen to me so many times. That, you know, I can walk into places and people like, man, something about you today, whatever the case may be. And I know on the outside, I haven't changed, but I know inwardly. That spirit man is definitely changing, and and the, the darkness can can see the light that is in you, and most of the time in the fleet. So it says, thereby, I mean, dearly beloved, I bless you, I uh, bless you, and strangers, and proclaim, abstain from fleshly lust. See, it says, abstain from fleshly lust, which are war against the soul. Fleshly lust. It's war against the soul. You know, I remember when I used to struggle with watching porn. I used to watch that a lot before I met my wife. And I used to struggle with that. Badly. I'm talking about bad. And even when I got married, I had to stop. And once the Lord beat me with that, I stopped. And that's what he's saying in that part. He says, strangers, uh, yeah, strangers, abstaining from fleshly lust which war against the soul your soul in this fleshly body is at war on a day by day basis you are fighting a fight against the devil every single day you can walk out that door no matter who you are it coming at the children coming at the elders coming at the mid it doesn't matter who you are it's out there that's why you have to refrain from unnecessary things. And then he says, having your conversations honest among the Gentiles, that where is thy speak against you as evildoers, they may be your good works, which they shall behold glorified God in the day of, of, of visitation. So in that time, and what the Lord is saying, that you got to withstand from the lust of the world and the cares of the world and the flesh, 
You gotta die to this beast, which is the flesh. You gotta die to it. And that's when he knows and that's when he calls you, but ye are a chosen generation of peculiar people, a royal priesthood. He pulled you out of the darkness and put you into his marvelous light. Thank the Lord for it. Every single day I look back at all that stuff I used to do, man, and I'm like, mm, thank you for pulling me out of the darkness. I could still be there. I could still have a reprobated mind, man, like so many other lost souls. And I pray that they get it together that are just, just existing, just walking around. You know that he's there. They still refer, refuse to change because, it's like he said, refrain from fleshly lust, which is war against the soul. That's deep. War against the soul. So I just wanted to make that, make that full video, man, because uh, just something I was just thinking about as I was driving, and I had a had a good brother ask me that question. And some things he's going through, but he that has an ear, let him hear.